What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number seven of our UAB Blazers Dynasty here in MVP Baseball 2006. It has been a long time since the last time that I uploaded anything related to this series. Back in July, the end of July to be exact, right before Madden came about. So that's not my fault, that's on me. Appreciate you guys checking this thing out still and offering it your support. Just real quick as we see David Tilly getting the start here, our ace of the pitching staff gets a strikeout, getting us started off right. There's your starting lineup. Before we get into this gameplay, I just want to let you guys know the, the plan for this series. I think this is going to be kind of a long-standing series on the channel. I don't see it ending anytime soon. There's a couple things on the on the channel that I know will eventually end. The Vikings will eventually end. The Texas Rangers will eventually end. But I, really, I like the college aspect because there's really no, really no kind of end in sight when you're trying to rebuild an entire program. Obviously, with NCAA Football 14, that's not going to end anytime soon at all. With our Team Builder Series, UAB Series, you guys are a part of this series. I want you guys to feel like you are a part of it, too. I think it's a good community builder. So we've got Football Community Built Series, and then we've got a Baseball Community Built Series. So... I think that those things are really sticky that can stick with you guys to keep on coming back and, and uh, offering your support to the channel. So I know that I've been bad about getting these videos up, but I, I want to stick to these both of these series as being kind of the glue that I guess you'd say to, to keep it coming back. So we see David Tilly striking out two guys here, but already with runners on first and second, Caden Holt trying to do his best effort out there to make the make a play. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So the first runs for the Southern Miss Golden Eagles are going to land in. And it's a one nothing game here with two down. Ground ball back to Holt. Makes the play. And Tilly and the Blazers are out of this inning with one run across. Kelly Tangen coming up against this left-handed pitcher. He's got some movement. He's got some pretty decent movement here on that fastball. Might be a two-seam fastball here. And that one's a four-seam. Just going to run it right by him. High and inside. Here's Hyde with two down. And that's a 95 mile an hour two seam fastball. Check swing. Didn't say that he went. One and two. And there's that two seamer again. That's just so hard to lay off of. It just hung in there high. And it eventually just it didn't even it wasn't even a strike. It didn't even cross the plate for it to be called a strike. But Hyde elects and swings and a miss. Here's a base hit. Runners now first and second in the top of the second inning already until he a little bit of trouble here with nobody down ground ball to austin he touches on third fires back to first and caden holt with the pick let's check this out one more time so i don't think that austin felt like he touched the bag but he definitely did and we're going to turn two here so that's a nice nice play but it's not going to matter so that double play although spectacular is it going to matter here as Hyde just finally gets to it in the corner of left field? And that's going to be another run for the Golden Eagles here. 2 nothing, little pop out and foul territory. And Holt is going to make this catch for the third out of the inning. Jay Balmer coming up. He's going to line drive a possible base hit taken away by the second baseman. So a very athletic play out there by him. Kudos to him. Guys, remember this guy? Sam Morgan, our designated hitter. He's been a really good bat for us in this lineup, hitting over 300 on the season. You can see him taking a curveball low and away here. 1-1 one, one count on Mr. Morgan. Swing and a miss. On a 96-mile-an-hour fastball. Just a little bit late. Just a hair late. We need Sam right here, though. We need him right here. We need to get him on. Base hit would be great. But that two-seam fastball that's been a thorn in our side, timed it perfectly, just a little bit too much movement, and Morgan is going to strike out. So we get another little ground ball here to first base, and that's not going to do the job. Austin here in the next inning, double play possibility. Back to Kingston, back over to Holt. We're going to turn the two. That's a really good job by the defense of our Blazers team here. We're going to the bottom of the third inning, getting no hit. But this base hit is going to put our first runner on. It's a single. And then Kelly Tangen comes up. And we're going to get thrown out. So Reggie Garcia 
A little bit of hit and run here getting called and it's not going to work out. We're just trying to get the runners moving a little bit. Try to get try to manufacture some runs. Get something get something happening here. Jay Ballmer makes this fly ball catch, challenges the runner at first, can't throw him out though. Austin, nice job, nice play. Had a lot of time to get that runner out at first. So Tilly's still pitching well after that early struggle, but we see Kelly Tang getting a base hit back up the middle that turns into a triple. It goes all the way to the wall and it turns into a triple. It's just something, an easy base hit right up the middle, but a ground ball variety all the way for a triple. Not every day you see that. So it must be this AstroTurf that's been going on out here at U of A's ballpark. Here is Caden Holt. This is a big time at bat for the Blazers and he's gonna end up striking out on a two seamer. Just low and away. It's really tough to tell exactly where that pitch is gonna end up at. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be right down the middle and then it ends up outside. It's just got so much break to it and it gets on you pretty quick. The same thing's happening here to Hyde. Looked like that was going to be an inside fastball that was going to end up being a ball. But it just broke back in and caught the inside part of the plate. And then he doubles back with a four-seamer that doesn't move. Just that split second of indecision costs you a possible base hit here. And then he changes it up by, go, by going with a slurve that Hyde almost swung and a miss at as he checks his swing here. And Tangen, uh, dude, no, 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 go back. Go back. Wow. So Tangan gets thrown out at third base trying to test the fielder, the second baseman. That one hurts. Hyde makes a really good play out here in left field. That's going to be out number two here in the top of the fifth. And David Tilly has got his work cut out for him here. Needs one more out. One more out. Get us to the sixth inning, please, David. Base hit back up the middle. Base hit back up the middle, and now we're looking for a possible force out, possible ground ball here to flip it back to second. Something. We need outs. We need big time outs here. And if we're going to be having a stolen base against us, Davis tried to throw the ball late. Actually, too late. Kingston gets that ground ball that we've been looking for. Gets it over to Holt for the third out. We got Balmer, Morgan, and Garcia coming up in the bottom of the sixth inning. So we see here Reggie Garcia is going to be the batter here as Balmer and Morgan ended up getting out. And we need you. We need you, Reggie. We need you right here, bud. Slurve that's just going to miss outside and low for the first ball of this A-B. So one-two count. Garcia gets the slurve. Going to be inside, but he's going to get rung up on a check swing, strike three. And still, the Blazers cannot get the bats going. Tilly though, pitching amazing after that first inning. He's doing awesome. Got another strikeout here. Everybody's pumped up in the dugout. Two outs in the top of the seventh inning and that one is going to go possibly for a double. Depends on how fast Hyde can get to it. A little bit of a ricochet there and a carom off that wall that he wasn't expecting. At least as far as where it was going to go as far as the direction of that carom. And it's going to be a a double here but we do get the third out so through seven it's still a two nothing game UAB with two hits Southern Miss with ten so Tilly despite pitching well only giving up two earned runs in this ball game ten hits is not very good ten hits is not good at all but we see Caden Holt coming up huge in a possible home run no, it's going to land at the base of the wall. Is he going to dig for three? He's going for three, chugging for it, and the throw comes in just in time. But Holt luckily got in there without a slide. Man, oh, man, dude, you could have been called out on the tag. That would have been terrible. Hyde comes up, gets a base hit, so now the Blazers are only down by one to Southern Miss. Looking at Jay Balmer here, trying to get something going as the cleanup guy. So Hyde gets the base hit in on his hands. Gets that RBI single. 0-2 count. And Jay Balmer is going to swing and miss. And he gets rung up on strikes on that nasty changeup. So we got a relief pitcher in now. And Sam Morgan, got to come through here, bud. You've had a lot of big hits for us in the last couple uploads here a double would be really nice that would probably score hide a home run 
would be absolutely crucial, would absolutely be killer for us here. So Hyde still on first base, fastball high and inside. Morgan lifts it out to right, and that's going to do it for the Blazers in the seventh inning. Tilly is still out there, by the way, guys. 0-2 count. Holt, Tilly stops. Oh, dude, you got to get back to first base. First baseman is not going to be able to run back there and make that play. He needed you there at first to cover. Davis on the bunt is able to toss out the batter, the runner. Nice stretch out there by Kingston. Another bunting attempt, and Tilly gets thrown off guard just a little bit, but he makes that play nicely. So now Southern Miss has a runner on third base. They're warming up their closer. Here's a big-time shot out to the left field, but Hyde is going to camp underneath this one. Got to make the play. He does. And we're still down 2-1. to one. So here we go. Bottom of the eighth inning. Fly ball deep is going to get caught out in center field. Still can't get any runs across here. Can't get any base runners. Here's a... Mm, I was going to say it was going to be a base hit for Josh Austin, but it hit the pitcher, and he was able to corral it and make the throw back to first base. So now Tilly's night is over, and we're going to the lefty Cole Arbuckle. Going to get in and get on some action here, trying to shut this Southern Miss team down. If you guys remember in the last episode, James Monroe, our best relief pitcher got in a lot of work and he's not really feeling it tonight he's not really feeling it tonight we're gonna have to give him some rest here because we're gonna need him down the stretch of the end of the season here Jay Balmer trying to make something happen and he just missed it he just missed it and this is gonna end up turning into a triple so Arbuckle gives up the triple in the alleyway the right center field alley and Caden Holt is gonna get under this one for the nice catch there and now we've got Two down. I believe that is two down. And we got to face off against the second baseman who's hitting 396. And we're just really just pitching out at this point. As a 3 0 count on this guy, you're not really looking to pitch to him here. So we do pitch out, intentionally walk him, basically, and then a base hit. It doesn't end up working out. We got the ball on the ground like we wanted to to get that force out at any base, except for home. But it ends up not working out for us. So Matthew Reno is going to get the call here to relieve Cole Arbuckle. We want the righty on the righty matchup. This guy's hitting over 400. So definitely one of the better hitters for Southern Miss. And Kingston can't get to this one. Two runs are going to end up scoring here. And now Southern Miss has blown this thing wide open. And UAB, guys, does not look like we're coming back. Doesn't look like we're coming back. From a 5-1 deficit in one inning. I've seen crazier things happen in this game. Hopefully, maybe we can do it, but maybe I'm selling you guys a little short. Maybe I'm teasing you guys. Huh? You think I'm teasing you? We got a possible base hit here. Nope. Just kidding. Fly ball to right field. Makes the play. Tang in. No strike out. Did not commit to the slider. It's a nice pitch. We see that slider just coming in, at, coming in hot on you. The very top of part of the plate. That's a really tough thing to swing at. And this one almost drops in, but the nice play by the center fielder is going to take away any possible chance and any possible hope that we had in coming back and winning this game. So we will simulate the rest of the Golden Eagles series. And then the next time that you guys see an upload here for UAB, we're actually going to be playing against Vanderbilt and David Price, the big-time left-hander. Isn't that crazy? David Price is in this game as a college guy as an as a senior it's just it's nuts it's crazy but there's your box score guys we did end up simulating the other games in the series we lost 10 to 3 and then the final game of the series we end up going with lucas sims to start and we also lost that one four to one so that is your upload episode seven is in the books i'll see you guys in episode eight as we take on david price and the vanderbilt commodores Leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you guys in the next one, probably coming this weekend. Probably coming this weekend. I'm thinking we'll might, we might do like a Saturday or a Sunday upload. I'll let you guys know in the community tab. Like I said, leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.